Hello, my friends. I'm pulling my hair out, working hard on this piece. Um, I thought I would take you through it, a little bit of the creation of it and the story of it. This is made out of 250 different photos. All right, this is actually the full res version. There I am at about 100% right now. Man, this has taken me forever. And one reason that I decided to remaster this, this is a long story, but I'll give you the short version, okay? So I do fine art prints for collectors. We have lots of happy collectors. And I want them to stay happy, okay? <laughs> So I want to make sure that we do a really good job here. Whoops, that's not what I want to look at. Where's my browser? Here we go. Um, so we are just about to release Series 2 of the art, but Series 1, we have a few left, and we're selling them. And we had kind of a run recently. We only do three prints of each one. Okay. And this has, has a, doesn't have very much, but this is one of our prints here, this Jules, <coughs> the Jules Vord one, excuse me. And so we only do three, but we just sold all three um, within three week period, okay? And these are expensive. Um, they are uh, $75,000 each. And actually the third print costs 95,000 US. So we have to make sure that they're really perfect. Well, I usually go through it with a fine tooth comb, like right before they go off to the printer to make sure they are Parfait, right? And I started finding a lot of problems with this one, honestly. I was like, oh man, like I'm pretty good at Photoshop and I can save a lot of problems, but some problems, man, you can't solve, you can't solve. And a lot of them, I hate to blame Photoshop. I probably blame myself because I'm the one that used Photoshop, but it just did such a shitty job in merging some of this stuff together. So this thing prints out big. How big? Here, I did a little calculation. Uh, 288 centimeters across, okay? That's 9.4 feet. Almost as tall as a basketball goal, right? And so people are be walking up and looking at this thing. Uh, we have a buyer from the royal family, uh, from a royal family, uh, I guess there's a few, uh, an NFL player, and then also uh, an American billionaire who's one of my collectors, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, I want them to be happy, right? And they have other rich friends coming to their house. I want them to see these and think like, hey, I want one of those. So I want to look good, right? Okay, anyway, um, what's going on here? Okay. Um, where did it come from? Let me show you some of the, the source files. Okay, so let me go into bridge here and then go into, it's all a mess. A big mess. So in here, I've got the 250 source files, okay? Um, actually, these are just the bright ones because I've been separating and moving around. So this is, what is that? Uh, 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 it's, huh, well, I can just look at it, right? 75 files, right? 75 files down here. I mean, it was 225 pictures, not 250. I apologize, 225. That's why I, could, I was trying to divide 250 by three, I was like, that's not an even number. Uh, okay, so anyway, these are all the pictures that go into it. Uh, you know, very, very detailed. Um, this was taken a few years ago. I think I used a D3X for this. I don't really remember, right? But these are kind of long exposures. There's a little bit of movement, as you might expect. Um, but still really nice detail and that sort of stuff, right? Really nice detail. So what I did is I merged all of these into a panorama. And um, that was kind of the beginning of my problem because Photoshop did a bad merge, but now Photoshop did a better merge, but not good enough. Okay, I've still had to spend like another 70 plus hours getting it all together. All right. All right, so I merged it all together and there were still a lot of gaps and problems and I'll get into that in a minute. And then once I got it merged together, I did a few adjustments in Photoshop with curves and this kind of thing to balance and flatten the light a little bit. And then I took it into Aurora HDR 2019. Okay. So after I merged everything together, 
before row 19, it went into here and here in museum. And I ended up with this thing. Okay. Actually, the file is so big, it just, you can't even preview it. It's a gigantic file. This is a, a JPEG, a huge JPEG, 234 megs, 27,000 pixels across. So it's pretty dang big. I was going to do a TIFF, but it just saves too big and I can't run that through Photomatics. In fact, they're not Photomatics. I can't run it through uh, Aurora HDR 2019. Ah, it just crashes. This is too big. And so even the JPEG crashes because it's too big. So you can see I had to cut it into four parts, right? One, two, three, and four. And of course, each of these parts is enormous, right? With really extreme detail of that result. I don't know if it's going to be 800%, but it's like I just got a wombat in the face. I was a porcupine. Anyway, um, I, I got good processing sets for that, and then I, I set a preset, and then I used the same preset on all four, put them back into Photoshop, and then pulled it in here, okay? And so now, in here, I've got two layers, okay? I've got the HDR image on top, and I've got the clean one underneath, okay? That's what went into Aurora. That's what came out of Aurora. And so I was going around and mixing the parts that I like and I don't like. Okay, uh, you can just see the incredible detail in this. I love it. It's gonna look great on the wall. Like that's the HDR version, non HDR version. That one I did a little bit of color grading on. Okay, there's a polar bear, another polar bear. These giant whale skeletons down here. Pretty cool. There's stuff all over the map. So like the HDR skeleton looks better than the non HDR skeleton, doesn't it? Um. Yeah, so that took a long time to fix up, right? And then, oh, for, let me show you how bad the previous one was. Okay, this is what, I was trying to fix the old one, right? So this is the original one, right? Which I still like, and it looks good far away. When you get in, there are just some problems. Like, for example, I'll show you the worst problem. This is embarrassing to show you. No one has ever noticed it. And they wouldn't because it's not really a picture that you zoom in on. It's a, it's a picture that you look at from far away. But things read differently when they're printed out at 10 feet across, right? Because you got to go up to them close. Anyway, so let's go down in this area. Let's look how ropey this is. Look at this. So immediately you kind of feel like something else. Like, so here's the, 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 uh, the floor slanting left, here slanting right. And look at all the, the wood things that are like mixed together here. I mean, there's no way to fix that in Photoshop. I don't know a way. I don't know a way. And look at this. That little vent is ghosted over here. Now, a lot of this stuff, just Photoshop merged, and I didn't get in close to check. Because it looks so good from far away. I'm like, oh, it's pretty good. Um, and I always planned on checking. when I, And then it does stuff like this, right? Do you see how this is like that? And up here, it splits apart stuff like that all over the place. Now my second time through has not been a joy ride, I tell you. Um, I've gone through and probably found mm, 300 places where Photoshop messed up. Okay, uh, let me show you this. So I had my two guys that work with Curtis and Stu go through it at 200% and find mistakes that I, not even I found. And I found hundreds they haven't found. I was scary. They both sent me a list of mistakes and they only had 25% overlap. So anyway, uh, let me show you what they sent me here. Okay, so here's what Curtis sent me. All right, all kinds of jazz here. So you put a little, I had him circle wherever he saw mistakes. And um, like look what it did here with the railing, right? That was not easy to fix, my friends. That took me a long time to fix. Um, and also, these, these guide wires, see, that are holding up things, they are always splitting, constant splitting. And it just looks shitty. Like, look here, the guide wires go down and they split to over here. These are very hard things to fix, I tell ya. Very hard things to fix. Here, the guide wires split. Um, 
man, there are just so many mistakes all over the place. Photoshop shouldn't have made them, but it did. Um, look at this. See this little thing, right? You got to be in a 200% to see how that is separated. So I'm going to go fix all these things. There, the railing's broken. Um, I tell you, it's just thing after thing after thing. Look, here's God. He didn't find these. Uh, student didn't find those either. Um, but then while I was going through it, I found this other. This is just an example, by the way. Yeah, look here. So if you look behind this glass pane, it has this little separation here and a little right in the middle. I mean, it's just thing after here. The guide wire is attached to the bird. How did that happen? How did that happen, sports fans? Uh, things like this. Oh yeah, look at look at this. This is the corner of the glass. It got separated. My God, it takes so long to fix this stuff. So long. Jeez. Um, Adobe, you could do better. Come on. I mean, I can fix it, but it's just it's, it's time consuming, yo. Time consuming. Anyway, I thought you guys might see a little behind the scenes there. A little behind the scenes. Uh, I'm very happy with how it's coming out. It's gonna be uh, gonna be great. Oh, here's one final thing I'm doing. I need to do a final crop here. You can do that with me. Um, not an almost final crop. Okay, so the current dimensions are 233 centimeters by 203. Okay, I'm gonna make it 290 because I might crop in just a little bit. 290 centimeters okay and i'm going to leave it on automatic resampling and i'll say okay so what's going to do is going to stretch it out okay you can see it's higher than i need it it's currently at i don't need to see the preview can i turn off the preview i don't want to see the preview why why would it build a preview for me um i already i already have a preview of it behind that dialogue right i'm not changing I'll maybe it's showing you if you change the dimensions of it, like, you know what I mean by squish it or, you know, who's going to do that? Yo. Anyway, so after this, it's going to be 250 centimeters tall. So I, I'm just going to take the middle part of it. Okay, I think that'll look, that'll look pretty sharp. And then, because we want consistency across all our prints, that will be the same size that goes to all of our uh, collectors. See? Gosh, I hate to think about how much memory this thing is ripping through on my computer. Um, last night I was working on it until like about midnight, and it was going so slow processing stuff. And on the other computer, I was watching Richard Feynman lectures to keep myself sane because I like that guy. And uh, it was about like seven minutes into one of these maneuvers, and the computer just turned off. It wasn't out of batteries, it just said, I am just gonna. I'm gonna take a break, Trey. This is too much. So then I just went to bed. I guess I'll redo that part in the morning. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Oh, and then I woke I woke up today at 5:30. I couldn't sleep. I was like, oh fuck, I guess I'll go to work. And so I came in here. Look, I don't mind it. I love doing this stuff. I don't mind it. Not complaining. I'm just talking about all these little things that get in your way, right? Of trying to create. And the electricity in the house went off. And no electricity. And it's got this has a pretty good battery on it, but with this kind of processing I'm doing, the battery lasts like 45 minutes. And the electricity still wasn't on. I was like, well, what am I gonna do now? It's 6.15 in the morning. It's dark outside. So I just got in my car and I went up to the hills to the country club. And I plugged in there. Okay, here we go. Here we go, sports fans. Okay, now it's nice and big. Bigger. And now we're going to change the canvas size. Let me, let me go, let me zoom in and make sure that the, uh, let me go all the way to the edge here. Make sure there's no white border. Sometimes that happens. I think there might be one at the bottom, but that's okay. Because uh, there is a little white border in there, is it there? Okay. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do my final prop here. I'm going to do a control C. Uh, canvas size, uh, 288, 388, 288 by 220. It's going to say, a new canvas size is smaller. Clipping will occur. I know. I know, Photoshop. Uh, at least that was fast. All right, looks pretty good, doesn't it? See, it's not as tall, but still a good image. I hate to cut anything off of an image that's pretty good. Um, I think some final touches I might do are, I want the top two corners to be consistent. And this one seems a little brighter, so I'm gonna try to make those more symmetrical. I don't really like these chicks' heads down here. That's gonna be a little hard to fix, but I'm gonna do my best. Um, and then just, I'm gonna zoom in at 100%, send it back to the team. Do a few more rounds because, man, oh man, I, I do put some mistakes in there on purpose. And sometimes the way I fix things, I think it's kind of funny and quirky. Uh, yeah, it's been a fun project. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. And this picture is going to make a lot of people happy. So that is cool. Cool like the other side of the pillow. All right, take it easy, passport members. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye.